what if I would tell you that I know that you're all magicians? You heard right, magicians. Because every day you create your own magic. Today I'm going to reflect on my career as a magician and when it started. I'd loved and continue to enjoy meeting new people from all walks of life. There are three things that I attribute to where I am today. Being bold. Getting to know myself for who I really am. And the importance of making new connections. In my opinion, this is, these are the three pillars of magic. And in my experience, this is what life is all about. Born as a twin, I learned at a very early age about the importance and the power of making new connections. Non-twins might learn this slightly later, but it's definitely one of the most important lessons to learn in life. I hope that through my three pillars of magic today, that you will be able to reconnect to the magic inside you. Today I'm going to talk and I'm going to take you around three life lessons, three key memories, and how these moments of magic have created the destiny I'm living today. Lesson number one, be bold. My military career has definitely been one of the most boldest moments in my life. I joined the military at the age of 17 and a half with my twin brother Ronnie. Bless him, he had a handful with me. One of my first memories was sitting on the bus on recruitment day when the officer walked up to me and said, Ah, oh, you must be Pat Patty's sister. Little did I know then that he was my sister's ex-boyfriend and now my supervisor of my four months booth camp. Yikes. <laughs> but what I want you to understand is that I was young. I was terrified, anxious, the first time away from my parents. But I was determined to be bold. They shaved my hair. <laughs> yes, ladies. More than half my head. Why teasing me that in four months' time, women would not need to do this anymore when they joined the military. I was the last one. I thought to myself, what? Why can't we do that right now? No, no. I had a crazy hairstyle for months, trust me. But I lived it with boldness. Other memories were, of course, my gun Susie, my bleeding feet, my sleepless nights, and the terrible food rations. Every military will agree with me on that. But it was also, my military career was also one of the most rewarding and amazing times in my life because it showed me how to be bold, which allowed me to connect to the unknown. It allowed me to connect to people that were nothing like me. It allowed me to connect to myself. Another key moment of boldness was the day I met my now ex-husband. It would be kind of odd, right, not to address this draw-dropping moment, kind of like the elephant in the room here today, <laughs> where, <laughs> where a Luxembourgish commoner becomes the princess of a beautiful home nation. The nation we all call home, and even if it's just for today. The making of Princess Butterfly. After deployment, they put me into the Affimery nursing station. And there he was, sitting, waiting for someone to pick him up for his, drive, for his driving exam, for his eye exam. As I walked up to him, I knew he was the one. My heart was pounding. My hands got sweaty. I confidently said, please come with me. We walked into the room and I conducted his eye exam. We were both so nervous. And I could not ignore that irresistible chemistry between the two of us. Yet, as reality took me back to my task, I realized that he was trying to peek 
through the shields in order to read the small prints. Yeah, that's what you did. A moment of silence, a decision. My moment of boldness, there it was. You're cheating. Say what? You replied instantly with a smile. Yes, you are. And there it was that moment of magic. Our eyes met. We had a connection. I felt it. But I said, I let you pass if we go for tea. Silence. In my head, emotions go wild, right? Can imagine. What did I say? What if he says no? Well, there's no way back, right? So I waited. Yes, I would love to, he replied. Disclaimer, he has glasses when he drives a car. <laughs> so what I want you to understand is that one second an act of boldness can have the most amazing, as in this case, but also it can have destructive consequences. We see it in world politics all the time. Take Brexit for an example. Which means that being bold does not just apply to private matters, no. It also applies to your work matters. Let's take an example. When you walk into your boss's office to vouch your need, make your voice heard, ask for a pay rise, will you be bold? Will you be confident? Or when you meet that new colleague of yours, how will you react? Being bold has allowed me to organize myself better. It has allowed me, <laughs> it has taught me as well, to accept defeat. Not every moment of boldness will be accepted by your peers. Trust me. Which then, in return of that, taught me about my limitations and my boundaries, as well as the ones of my peers. My question to you today, when will your next moment of boldness be? Lesson number two. Knowing who you really are, that's true magic. What floats your boat, meaning what excites you? For me, giving back, supporting others has always been key. That's when my connectivity is the highest. My energy, oh, it's just glowing, exploding. But it doesn't come from itself. In order to get to know myself, I would argue you need to step out of your comfort zone. Which means for me, for example, addressing key stakeholders. Of course, my comfort zones and your comfort zones are very different. We are nothing alike, and that's good like that. So getting to know yourself, your comfort zones. For example, some of you might shrivel up speaking, in speaking to a stranger on the street or speaking in front of a crowd, right? Let me tell you a secret. Me too. I have been asked for years to speak in front of a TEDx, for years, and I have always refused, including the one in June. Sorry, Dirk. But it's just, why? This red dot right here freaks the heck out of me. It truly does. And yet, here I am, right in front of you today. <laughs> so, stepping out of my comfort zone, getting to know myself a little bit more every day, has taught me something really precious, my passion, which is to educate. And out of these newly found insight, I found it with two co-founders, professors with our borders. Little did we know four years down the line that we would educate hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of amazing students around the world and many governments who would not be able to access quality skilled education any other way. Isn't that nuts? This is my passion. What? is yours. Think about it. Are you happy with where you are right now? If you are, I am so happy for you. This is fantastic. But I know that some of you in their minds said no. No, I'm not. 
What can I tell you about that? Something I would tell you, something I would definitely tell my friends, and something my friends tell me is that if you don't like it, change it. Don't compare. Don't judge other people. Where there's a will, there's a way. Where there's a way, there's a connection. Where there's a connection, there's a really, really, really good opportunity to get to know yourself for who you really are, or a little bit more. Which brings me to my last lesson. Lesson three. Making new connections is key to self-development. As we said with boldness, not every new connection will bring joy. Absolutely not. And that's okay, because you need all kinds of connections to create that resilient and innovative human being you have become until today. It is said that we're all separated for six degrees of separation, right? Or the six degrees of Kevin Bacon, if you have seen his TED talk, which I would urge you to watch. Some are laughing, it's a good one. I would even argue here in Luxembourg, we are less than six degrees of separation, right? Because here, everyone knows everyone. <laughs> My gosh, it's amazing, huh? It's really like, oh, Paul the neighbor. Oh, yeah, Tessie's dad. Oh, yeah, your friend off here and there. Da, 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 da. Rings a bell, right? For me, it surely does. Let me give you a personal example. When I got married, all of a sudden, people that I had never met before, strangers really, were connected to me, felt that they were really good friends of me, best friends, related, all kinds. I thought to myself, how beautiful is that? Complete strangers, just because of a marriage, feel so close to me. I felt very privileged, really, really privileged. It's still until today one of my best memories. With that, you know, it really says that connection always happens. Whatever you do, it will always happen to you. Let it happen. There's another example of also why I'm wearing this. When I went to India for the first time, and it really struck with me, strangers, specifically elderly people as well, would call me Auntie Tessie. Awkward, right? Like at first I was like, ooh, Luxembourg, you know, we don't do these things. <laughs> no, in London or anywhere, really. So I didn't know how to react at the beginning. But as time went on, as I spent time there and got to know people, I understood about their culture, that for them, the sheer fact to meet you must have been meant to be. So for them, you are special already from the first moment. I think it's so beautiful because it creates that instant magic after the initial connection. Isn't that incredible? So if you go with that theory then, we are one really big family here tonight, right? <laughs> so why am I here? What I want you to remember is that from nothing comes absolutely nothing. When you walk out of this room today, I want you to be bold. I want you to invest in yourself, invest in your weaknesses, invest in your passions, get to know your passions with integrity and kindness. Get to know things that scare you and actively pursue connections. Look to your left, look to your right, share a smile. Talk to the woman or the man in school, the girl and the boy, at the bar, at the, in the street, at the bakery, in the train, in the plane, wherever you might be. Connect. It's beautiful. Don't miss out. Something I am doing right now is that I want to meet one new person a day for three months. And I'm, I'm taking a, a notebook on that. Try it. It will transform your life forever. It, you will never be the same after this exercise. It's absolutely incredible. 
connection always, always, always happens. I hope that through my three pillars of magic, you were able to reconnect to your past moments of boldness, your past moments of when you got to know yourself a bit more by stepping out of your comfort zone, or when you did a really great connection, or maybe even something new. It sparked something in your mind where you said, hell yeah, I'm gonna do it now. Because, yeah, I needed to hear this, I'm ready. Whatever it is, magic always happens. For me to you, Moya, merci, Hello and thank you. Thank you for connecting with me.